Discover the exquisite beauty of Islam with our exclusive poster collection showcasing the 99 names of Allah. Each poster meticulously presents the Arabic name, pronunciation and English translation, embodying the essence of our Creator. Elevate your surroundings with these high-quality designs that not only serve as art, but also offer a glimpse into the profound beauty of Islamic culture. Immerse yourself in the collection and unveil the magnificence of the 99 names. Links in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, extremely interesting video today. We're gonna react to Laborers in Victorian England 1901. This is a video filmed over 120 years ago in England, showing predominantly laborers going to work. However, of course, you see women in this video as well. And this is why I react to this footage in the first place, because we're going to see the attire, we're going to see the clothing of people 120 years ago in Europe. So if you've been following this channel, you of course know where I'm going with this already. I'm a revert to Islam after all. I'm showing you this video footage because nowadays in this day and age in Europe, everybody can wear what they want. And if you look at the bad, bad Muslims, you see that their women are all covered. This is totally un-European. We would never do that in Europe after all. Or would they? This is why, as I said, I want to show you this video footage, how it looked like 120 years years ago. What were people wearing? What were the women wearing on the street in public? All right, guys, but before we get started, if you enjoy my content, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box to further support my work. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. All right, here you can see they even upscaled the footage, which is quite impressive, and probably colorized it as well. So it's like time travel, essentially. We see how Europe looked like 120 years ago. First and foremost, we of course see that everybody is wearing modest clothing. But it's of course more interesting to see the women here. You can see a girl and here in the background, here they are, the ladies. What are they wearing? Why are they covering? This is not European, is it? This is a Muslim thing. So there you can see the women, most of them, really the majority, are covered with what you would call a hijab, a veil. Here you have it, here you see it as well. Every woman pretty much. Girls and boys wear very modest clothing too. It's a uniform society. It goes in direct opposition, of course, to this day and age individualism, where everybody is wearing what they want. Yeah, quite fascinating. Again, there you see it, everybody is covering. The women are holding on to their veils as well, meticulously. <laughs> Boys being excited about the cameras. It's so trippy if you think about that all of those people are dead now. This is 120 years ago. Not one of them is alive. Wow. SubhanAllah. But there you have it. It's not just a woman or two women. It's all of them. So this cannot be coincidence that they all just were covered on this day. Absolutely not. What is going on with this? And it's this society now, right, stemming from the Brits, spreading over France especially, and we're going to get into that a bit later, that are now opposing the hijab, absolutely against it, because they evolved out of it, right? They left that in the past. All right, and that was the video. You saw it for yourself. Pretty self-explanatory. Pretty much all the women were covered in England, in Europe, 120 years ago. However, nowadays, Europe looks very, very different. As I said, individualism, everybody can wear what they want. 
Ultimately, you can take off as many clothes as you want to. They're progressing further and further. They're evolving. They're the pinnacle of human evolution. The more clothes you take off, the more enlightened you are in the West. Don't regress over here. Don't put on that covering. This is so ancient. This is so backwards. This is a Stone Age religion after all. But 120 years ago, you did it yourself. And now they're acting as if it never happened. Look here. In the background, you can see France to ban wearing a Bayer dress in schools. This actually happened when I lived in France a few years ago. So here it states, France will ban children from wearing the abaya, the loose-fitting, full-length rope worn by some Muslim women. Yeah, some Muslim women are wearing the abaya, not everybody does. But if you look back into the video, everybody, every woman was wearing loose fitting, full length clothing, a robe that was covering their whole body. But now in this day and age, France forbids young girls to cover up. If they want to dress modestly, this is absolutely forbidden, absolutely prohibited in France. If you want to take your clothes off, on the other hand, you absolutely can. You absolutely should probably. Those are our European values after all. This is insane, especially in a liberal society where you tell me that I have the right to self-determination, the freedom of self-expression and the freedom of practicing religion. Don't you have that in a liberal society? Of course you do. So under your own constitution, how can you forbid then somebody to choose what they want to put on? But that is the hypocrisy of the leftist liberal governments in the whole world. They tell you you have all the freedoms, everybody can do what they want without hurting anybody. But in reality, it is not true, of course. You have to follow what they do. Otherwise, they do not accept you. If you want to practice your religion, you can practice a version that they will approve of, right? You can be a Muslim, but please don't cover up. You might not want to eat pork, that is okay. Hey, we have vegetarians and vegans in our society as well, so dietary preferences, that's not really a big deal. However, if you really fully want to cover, that is a no-go. If you want to pray five times per day, in school or in work, that is of course extremism as well. You should not do that. Here you see it. Muslim student loses bid to take part in prayer rituals at Britain's strictest school. So here we read, the head teacher of a high-achieving school, once dubbed Britain's strictest, has hailed a landmark high court ruling which backed the school's right to ban prayer rituals in the playground. Catherine Burbelsine, head of Michaela Community School in Brent, North London, said the outcome was a victory for all schools after a judge rejected a Muslim's pupil claim that the policy interfered with her rights to religious freedom. Which is absolutely true. In liberal countries, in Western countries, you have the right for religious freedom. So therefore, they cannot legally impose what you wear, where you pray. But back to the previous article, here's something very important that we have to highlight after all. France, which has enforced a strict ban on religious signs in state schools since the 19th century, laws removed any traditional Catholic influence from public education, has struggled to update guidelines to deal with a growing Muslim minority. French public schools do not permit the wearing of large crosses, Jewish kippahs, or Islamic headscarves. In 2004, the country banned headscarves in school, and in 2010, it passed a ban on full-face veils in public, angering many in its 5 million strong Muslim community. I have decided that the abaya could not longer be worn in schools, Education Minister Gabriel Attal said in an interview with TV channel TF1. When you walk into a classroom, you shouldn't be able to identify the pupils' religion just by looking at them. And what kind of crazy argumentation is that? Why shouldn't you be able to identify the religion of a pupil by just walking into the classroom? What is wrong with that? What is so evil to identify the pupil as a Christian, as a Jew, or as a Muslim. What is the problem with that? The problem with that is, of course, that liberals 
they tell you, as I said already 10,000 times here, that you can do whatever you want to do. But the reality is simply they want to remove God from society. And they successfully did so when it comes down to Christianity. Their own state religion of Christianity has been utterly destroyed in countries such as England or in France. It has been removed from the fabric. The overly compassionate attitude and the meekness of Christianity allowed for secularism to happen. The church has already fallen. Now people are talking about, let's return home to Rome. They're talking about a revival in the Catholic Church. The reality is the church has fallen. It has lost control over its countries. It's not the state religion anymore. Quite the opposite. It is under attack and it has been destroyed. Done deal, man. It's over. Deal with it already. Catholicism in the West is finished. It is over. It is done. It is ancient history by now. Don't you see what has happened? Those leftist liberals are against God. They hate God. And this is why they removed religion from the fabric of their societies. And now Islam is under attack because, as we said already a million times, Islam is the only religion that actually stands for its own values and cannot be demolished as easy as Catholicism could. And this is why those hypocrites will resort to all kinds of measures, first and foremost, lying of course, because they will lie to you about your own history, as they always do. History is wrought by the victors. That's what it is. Look into it. And that's why they're telling you now the hijab is just a Muslim thing. It's a foreign thing. It attacks our European values, our European culture. No, those leftist liberals destroyed your European culture. They destroyed your heritage. They removed everything that is godly, everything that is modest from you. Don't you see? And now Islam comes to the rescue. It actually revives true European values, but no. You don't want to see it. You see it as a foreign entity that goes against you. No, Islam just goes against the degeneracy that has been imposed upon you by your rulers. Don't you see that this is your last chance? Essentially, the world is splitting into pious people and into utter degenerates. People that are falling further and further into delusion, be it only fans, be it pornography in general, use and what not it just never stops man the world becomes more and more evil by the day but at the same time we have a revival in religion and people are flocking to islam alhamdulillah you basically just have two ways truth or falsehood and for me coming from the balkan i've seen this already man muslim or christian woman in the generation of my grandparents guess what they were all wearing hijab my grandma was always covered but then it was the time of communism and the generation of my mother did not cover anymore. So me growing up, I did not see my mom being covered. However, the moms of the Muslim kids were still covered, most of them, not all. But as I said, my grandma, every time we would visit, she was covered. It was absolutely normal for an Orthodox Christian woman to be covered. And within one generation, communism destroyed it. They removed God from the picture. They removed the veils from the women. And now slowly but surely it is recovering a little bit, but not really. You see that religion, Orthodoxy, Christianity is getting a little bit of a revival on the Balkans. But the women are not putting on the hijab anymore because it is not an intrinsic part of the religion. It was a custom and now it's just past history. Now it is over. The hijab is mandatory, however, within Islam. It is part of the religion. Very clearly you can read about it in the Quran, in the Hadith. So therefore, no matter if it is communism or liberalism, they will never be able to remove the hijab from the religion. And therefore, people can always return to it. Right now, I'm living in Thailand and we have a revival in Islam as well. Reverts every single day, shahadas every single day, alhamdulillah. But the Muslim population, they become more practicing as well. Ten years ago, women weren't really covering here either, Muslim women. But now they're putting on the hijab. And it is all due to the preservation of the text. It is all due to the preservation of the religion. You always know what you can come back to. I honestly urge my European brothers and sisters to wake up. I know, now I'm the traitor, right? The bad, bad, evil traitor that gave up European Christianity. We don't even have to get into this topic how Christianity is not European after all. But well, they see me as this traitor that switched camps, switched sides. Now he's one of those evil, evil Muslims after all. Guys, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I wish nothing but the best for Europe and European people. However, the best is 
Islam, the submission to one God alone. It is a chance for you to redeem yourself. It is a chance for you to return to God. It is the straight path. There is no left, no right in the path of Islam. You don't have to pray through somebody else. Oh, Saint Michael, please help me. Or pray to Jesus, pray to Mary and what not. Don't you see? Christianity has failed you. This led to secularism. It is feeble. It is fragile. This is why it couldn't keep up. The test has already failed. Islam is the last stronghold. And no, it's not something foreign, something strange. Quite the opposite. It is the only way to revive your true European identity. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box below to further support my work. And now, as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. <laughs> Oh